Hi there, hope you're having a terrific day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about imbalances in the sixth chakra. So are you struggling with bringing things into reality, taking your ideas and making them happen and manifesting them? Or are you scatterbrained? Would you be embarrassed if somebody saw your workspace or your home life? And do you think that they would think, how does anybody get anything done in this type of space or environment? Um, or are you daydreaming often, especially to kind of escape from some of the mundane things that you would rather not be doing? Well, in today's featured book, we're gonna be learning about how to balance the six chakra. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to the Bookster's Club, where we find daily inspiration from the books you love. In today's featured book is Chakras for Beginners by David Pond. And today's inspirational thought comes to us on page number 90. It says, The most common unbalanced use of the six chakra is allowing yourself to be engulfed by fear. It takes skill to navigate beyond the fear realms because they are dominant everywhere around us. Fear is meant to be a standby alarm system, not a state of consciousness. When you feel fear at the sound of a car at the street corner and you instinctively pull back, it is serving you. But when fear is not on standby, instead it is constantly sounding, this is to be engulfed by fear. Then fear has its say in all the choices you make. Fear is a very interesting component of having an imbalanced six chakra, you can create realities within your own mind that may not be the ultimate reality. And living in a state of fear is really just something reflecting back to you the state that you're in. And if, look, it said it in the book, you do need fear as a standby alarm, but being in a constant state of fear means that your reality that you've created is out of whack and imbalance. Another sign of an imbalanced six chakra is actually watching too much television and escapism. This is really common when people are experiencing something that's mundane, they don't really wanna be there, like when you're at school, um, and you wish you could be somewhere else, and so you use your imagination, you use the mind to kind of take you someplace else. Even though your physical body is doing something else, you're kind of going somewhere else. Fantasizing and um, using your imagination in those ways is also a sign of an imbalanced six chakra. Now, this is interesting because delusion was one of the words that he brought up a lot in this chapter. And when people fantasize um, about other people, they can create a sense of delusion. And that really is their expectation because they've seen it played out so many times. And then when they read they meet reality, they're really let down um, because these are things that people cannot live up to and they're just living in the present moment and you already have everything planned out because you've just experienced it within your mind. So being let down because of delusion is one of the signs that you are imbalanced in the sixth chakra. Um, being spaced out and having your head in the clouds is another sign. Do you have a lot of projects? that are all kind of in your mind, things that you wanna do, things that you're gonna be doing. Are you always talking about the business that you're gonna make or, or how you're gonna create a new company or the new invention that you have? but you never really bring anything out into fruition. You never actually manifest anything. This could be a sign that you're not grounded, that your head is in the clouds. Actually doing a um, meditation on grounding yourself or going out in nature is gonna help you with that, um, but that could also be a sign that you are imbalanced in the sixth chakra. Look, imagination is fantastic and we all need our imagination. In fact, in this chapter, um, David Pond said that imagination is the vehicle to transcendence. So we need our imagination. The key is we need a disciplined imagination. All right, so I got some mantra words for you to help clear out the sixth chakra and bring it into balance. Now you can take each of these words and meditate on them and think and feel what it would be like to experience that word and what that word means to you. Pull it into the present moment and rework what's going on ener energetically within that chakra. Or you can take these words, uh, rearrange them however you want and create a personal mantra, make sentences out of them so that you can repeat them to yourself every single day 
and um, this will help you rewire the brain so that when you interact with others, you now have a new motive operandi and you can start interacting with others based on the mantra words that are in a balanced state for that chakra so that you can create different experiences and that will actually balance um, that chakra out. So your words are inspiration, intuition, faith, present, clear-headed, visionary, perspective, and disciplined imagination. And I have a challenge for you as well. Challenge for the day is pay attention to when you are daydreaming. So when you are daydreaming, is it when your physical body or when you yourself is in the middle of doing something that you don't really want to be? Ah, ah, ah. That is a sign that you are escaping the present moment pull yourself back into present moment. It's almost like exercise, you know, it purrs it. You know, every push up you do, it's like, ow, ow, ow. But that's what creates the strength and that's what creates the reworking of the way that you're using your imagination. Um, you wanna kind of tame that horse and bring imagination in when you need it. So when you recognize that you're daydreaming during a time where you actually notice like, oh, I don't wanna be here, that's why I'm daydreaming pull it back in, stay present, and be focused on the task at hand and say, not right now. And then give yourself an opportunity, maybe when you're going to sleep, to use your imagination, to let yourself go ahead and feel free and imagine the things that you wanna imagine, but do it on your terms, so that way it is disciplined um, imagination. If you um, found that this challenge was helpful and useful, um, please, uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about that. If you did another challenge from a different day and you want to let me know in this video, I would love to hear about that as well in the comments. If you like this video, thank you so much for clicking that like button. It helps to pass the message along to others so that they can also see this video. And I have a quote for you. It says, "I find." let's see if I can do it. I find television very educating. Every time somebody turns on the set, I go, I go into the other room and read a book, eh? <laughs> Sorry, that was my Groucho Marx impersonation. So, um, you know, it's funny, but he was a, an American comedian. He was the guy with the mustache, the bushy eyebrows, and he always had a uh, cigar in his mouth. That's what that was. Um, not good at impersonations, I guess. But uh, he said that turning on the television, he would always go in the other room and read a book, and I found that very um, perfect for today. If you are finding that, man, I do read too, or I do watch too much television and I'm spending a lot of hours on that, chop that in half, go read a book, stimulate your mind. Um, if you can't do that, at least join the Booksters Club because we get inspiration from books every single day so that we can grow and develop ourselves. Uh, if you want to join the Booksters Club, please subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you know when I've posted a new video because I post new videos just like this every single day. See you tomorrow, Booksters. Bye.